Hi everyone, this is my SOLIDWORKS assembly of laparoscopic graspers. As you can see, as you open and close the handle mechanism, the forceps open and close accordingly. This is a close-up view of the forceps which were designed using a 2D image. Here I hide the holder part used to secure the forceps mechanism. As you can see, the mechanism consists of two legs and four pins. I also set the forceps at a 90 degree max opening angle. The mechanism connects to the handle with a pressure rod that runs through the sheath which is colored here in black. Here I am using the knob to twist the forceps which is a very important function for surgeons during surgery. I modeled the knob using the circular pattern function in SOLIDWORKS. This is a section view of the entire assembly. As you can see, the pusher rod runs through the entire sheath toward the handle, which I modeled using 2D picks. The back handle connects to the pusher rod through a pin. I modeled a vertical slot, as you can see here, to allow the push rod to go forward and backward from the circular motion of the handle. This was a necessary feature that allowed the handle to actually work. This is an exploded view of the laparoscopic graspers. Here you can see the two forcep jaws, two legs, four pins, the holder, and the push rod which travels through the sheath. Here you could see the two separate handle pieces as well as the pin used to join them. And above that is the knob. Here I run a simulation on the hollow sheath which I chose to be made out of 316 stainless steel because of its corrosion resistant properties. I secure one end and apply an exaggerated one half pound force to the other edge. The max von Mises stress is 1.3 times 10 to the 4 psi which does not exceed the yield stress of 2.5 times 10 to the 4 psi and the max displacement is around 0.2 inches.